Welcome to Idaho. This landscape is covered in basalt flows that are less than 2 million years old and are part of the Yellowstone hotspot history. The Yellowstone hotspot sits about 200 miles east of this location now, but several million years ago, the hotspot was located here in southeastern Idaho. Eruptions from this volcano covered thousands of acres with basaltic lava less than a million years ago. If we want to know what this type of eruption would look like, we can go to similar volcanoes that are active today. Iceland currently erupts basalt flows that give us a glimpse of what eastern Idaho would have looked like around a million years ago. Rivers of molten lava flow from a central vent, traveling miles away. A cinder cone is characterized by steep slopes along the sides of a volcano. This cone shape is created by the volcano spewing liquid lava into the air, which quickly cools into small fragments less than an inch in diameter called cinders. Those cinders pile up much like creating a pile of sand at the beach. The sides of the volcano are approximately the same angle you can pile up sand at the beach before gravity would cause the sides to fall. Today this volcano sits dormant, but less than a million years ago the volcano erupted iron and magnesium rich basalt that easily flowed across the surrounding landscape. The lava flows are barely weathered and covered with a thin layer of soil and light vegetation, but we can see the edge of the basalt flow from the air. This volcano is a very small cinder cone but is still capable of producing a lava flow that was almost a mile wide and extends over two miles away from the central vent. The eruption that created these lava flows in this cinder cone probably lasted several days to even weeks long. And this is one of many volcanoes in the area. You see the large mountain in the background? That's Big Southern Butte. 300,000 year old volcano that is one of the largest volcanic domes on earth and is comprised of rhyolite, making it much more explosive and dangerous than this small cinder cone on its flanks. This part of Idaho is still considered a potential volcanic hazard and eruptions happen around once every 3,000 years.